What's happening and what's going on is a very fitting title for The Walking Dead mid-season premiere because what is going on? We had a complete filler episode here with Tyrese dying, envisioning the sisters, Governor, and also Beth and Bob. What's going on? There's a lot of bees. And Martin. And Martin, that epic guy called Martin. My name's Martin. I'm the one in Empire Biscuit. I'm wanting Tyrese. This episode drew 15.64 million viewers, right? And this to me just shows you that how over fucking rated The Walking Dead I'd is. I'd be shocked if it didn't lose a couple of million going into next week's. No, I mean, you can say that, right? But this just tells me how overrated this show is. I know ratings, right, for one episode doesn't automatically mean it's better than other TV shows, but I'm pretty sure what Breaking Bad never hit that. It was like 12 Breaking yeah, Bad I think, hit. Uh, yeah, I think, I think Breaking Bad's premiere. I think if Breaking finale. Bad continued a few more episodes, it probably would have surpassed this probably who knows right Breaking Bad just went up right towards the end there's other TV shows out there like Sopranos never had a rating like this Suns never had a rating like this other TV shows out there Game of Thrones I believe never had ratings like this hold on pretty much every fucking TV show never had a rating like this yeah so I think it's crazy that an episode like this got 15.64 million views I think it's incredible an absolute filler of the highest proportion nothing happened they kill off Tyrese, and it's almost like they felt they had to bring back characters from the past, because if they didn't, people would have been like, what the hell just happened here? So to justify killing Tyrese, they need to try bringing back some characters to, to, to try and add something to the death. But in reality, what happened is Tyrese just got bit by a walker, and at this point, no main characters are getting death by walkers, especially one walker. Like, come on. <laughs> Only people getting killed by walkers are red shirts, yet fucking Tyrese gets killed by a walker. Yeah, it's I mean, ridiculous. At this stage of the game, that's embarrassing. Yeah, it's been two and a half weeks since Beth's death, so obviously they're trying to make their way to Washington. Rick still wants to go to Washington, but our group at this point pretty much consists of... Who was the last protagonist part of the main group to actually get taken out by a walker? I would suggest it's probably a T-Dog. I'd say so, yeah. Like, proper, like, main-level character, not like a red shirt. Yeah, and I know we had that guy at the beginning of Season 4. I'm not counting him. No, I'm not counting him. And then, obviously, the outbreak, but that was more to do with a character in the group turning, and that was more to do with the sickness. So if we're purely looking at just uh, Walker kills, then you probably have to go back as far as Tyrese. Yeah, you have to go as far back as big... No, not Tyrese, uh, T-Dog. Aye, T-Dog. Two black guys. Two black guys. When this episode begins, right, with Noah talking to Tyrese for ten minutes, you know one of them's going to die. Yeah. And pretty much, right, I just want to fly through this. We're going to go back to Noah's hometown, where his uh, group was stationed up his family. And here, even the Tyrese death, you could say it's more indirectly caused by Andrew, rather than the walkers getting the credit. So the last legit walker kill is probably on Dale. Yeah, no, you, you could absolutely say that. I just can't believe that Tyrese in season five is getting taken out by one walker. No, I think the worst time about this is... He A gets, child walker nonetheless. He gets bit. I know we're skipping ahead, but honestly, we're not missing anything. It's just jobber conversations between cat. Like, Rick says to Glenn, no, Don didn't mean that back at the hospital, but we killed her anyway. Yeah, it's almost like Rick had remorse. He, he felt guilt. But it's like, look at the amount of people Rick's killed, but he feels bad about killing Dawn. Again, it's almost like they were trying to portray Dawn as like the, oh, she wasn't really an antagonist. She was like the anti-hero. She was the hero that we needed, or or whatever. I'm going to be intrigued to see what the wording is like around Alpha. I know Negan kills her, I believe, but like, what what the group going to react to that? They're going to pretend that Alpha was a horrible bitch, or they going to? Like, yeah, see, fuck? that's the thing. They have Negan kill her. Is it because they don't really want one of the protagonists to kill her? We'll have to wait and see, right? We're a long way away from the whisperers, but I'm going to whisper something. This was bish. This episode was really right, so bad. So basically, it's filler. They take Noah back to his his home place because. They think that there potentially could be safety there. And also it was Beth's final wish, I guess. So Rick wants to make that come true or whatever he wants to. No, no it's funny. I know you mean. Fulfill it. Fulfill it. Maggie. Why does she not want to fulfill her wish? Where's Maggie in this episode? Is she still grieving 17 days later? Yeah, Maggie. The worst thing about... No, 
Tyrese gets bit, Noah helps him get rid of the walker, then he's like, right, I'll go get help. Then 20 minute passes. We've, we we eventually get Rick, Michonne and Glenn, they arrive, right? And what's happening? Noah's pinned down on the floor, holding off two walkers. So he made it to the porch of the house before he got surrounded. And we're supposed to believe for 20 minutes he, he managed to hold off a walker, a couple of walkers for 20 full minutes. No, it's ridiculous. The deal with it, they get in, Tyrese is imagining people, he's imagining Mika, Lizzie, Bob, Martin, and the governor, a guy that had no... Philip. This is the governor's last ever um, appearance. I just didn't feel like Tyrese and the governor were that connected. See when the wreck See the Rick. See the Rick. Not quite the Rock, is it? But see when the see when Rick right imagined like Shane Herschel, and I think he imagined no, it wasn't Glenn. It was I think it was someone else. Would it not have made sense for him to like imagine like a bad person of the past, like the governor? Is that not where you could execute a governor flashback more? I think so. This, this, this is this, again. It just felt forced. I didn't feel like the governor and Tyrese had this big yeah, He had like one conversation with him, he's like, yeah, you guard the wall while... Well, you gotta earn your keep. Well, the Ty- real men go out there, you fucking sit here like a job. Tyrese is a big fucking pussy, though, he is. So anyway, yeah, Ty- Tyrese is too busy looking at Noah's dead family or whatnot. He gets bitten by some wee kid. Um, Noah then tries to get help. Help doesn't come. Uh, Glenn, Michonne and Rick are killing walkers, because that's what they do on this show, kill walkers. They're talking about how they could stay here, but Rick's like, it's not a good idea because look at the trees. We could be set up. We could be ambushed and we wouldn't they know until they're climbing over the wall. A few wee Easter eggs here. If you paid attention that the wolves did this, what did they do? The wolves did it. Well, the wolves can hurl to the fucking moon for all I care because uh, Tyrese gets attacked again. The governor comes out in walker form that turns into... And then he, he uses... I actually thought this was quite unique. He used his arm that was already bitten. To like fend off the walker. Smart, very smart. Now it's a good job he didn't use his other arm. Imagine getting both your arms just chopped off. What would be the point? Would they even have risked it? I think they would just let him die. It's one thing, like, but what? I mean, how, I think he can survive with one arm, like. But also, it was a kid that bit him, right? And like, it's almost like the amount of bloody loss was ridiculous. Noah got him killed. Yeah, I mean, how he, fucking long do you want to wait? He was literally bleeding as if he'd been attacked, uh, attacked by a great white shark or something. Never yeah. been some little kid like, fucking... We, we've seen so many people get bit, right? And survive for, like, days? Like, like 36 hours or something? Tyrese gets bit here. He's almost like... Well, it was a blood loss that killed him, to be fair. Yeah, no, but you almost feel like he was going to die a blood loss even without the second bite or the amputation. The way he was, like, dr- drooling and fucking... Yeah, uh, he, he, he lost that much blood. Yeah, they, they, they cut it off... Um, after the second bite, they managed to save the day. They then carry him. You get this montage. Like Noah cuts himself in the barbed wire. He's crying. His family's dead. He kills his little brother, which I guess was kind of sad. His brother bit Tyrese, whatever. Um, they're then running. They get back to the car. All this sad music. Tyrese's face and his beanies pressed up against the window. <laughs> it's kind of a funny scene. He's like licking the window. His last images on this earth is licking like a, a car window and then... The car just pulls over. Rick's like got his head on his hands. Glenn's greeting. Noah didn't know Tyrese, but he's only ever black guy there, so he's crying. And then that's it. It's over. I know in the comics, Rick and Tyrese were apparently really close, and Tyrese was Rick's probably best friend in the comics. Really? He was the second. He was the second in command. Tyrese was his right hand man. Now I don't know who you would consider his right hand man in the show. Is it Glenn? Is it Daryl? In the comics, so it's kind of Tyrese. However, in this, like, when Tyrese is bit here, you see, like, Rick's face. He's, like, you know, obviously upset, and he, he's trying to save him. He's, like, desperate to um, not let another person die. But I just don't feel like Rick and Tyrese are honestly that close in the show. When Tyrese first shows up at the prison, Rick screams at him, tells him to get out, and then Tyrese doesn't come back, really, until the final episode. I guess he did save Judith. I'll give him that. Right, but then he doesn't come back. All right, so basically for season three, Rick and Tyrese do not bond at all. No. Season four, yeah, okay, the, 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 he's part of the group, but you don't really see him bonding. Then Karen quickly dies, and, I mean, before you know it, Rick and Tyrese are fighting each other. <sighs> and, and then they've got the whole sickness thing. 
And literally, before we know it, the governor's attacking, too far gone, the whole group's separated. And Rick doesn't even reunite with Tyrese in Terminus. He reunites with Tyrese after Terminus. And then again, you've got that small period where it's Tyrese, Rick, and a bunch of new people like Abraham that he doesn't really know. And then again, before you know it, like Tyrese is dead. So see, when you actually look at The Walking Dead, there wasn't that many scenes with Rick and Tyrese. I don't feel like there was a big bond between the two. No, there was Not wasn't. even com to the comic comparison level. I just mean in general. I don't think this death should have really had a big impact on Rick. My problem with this is, though, right... I, I, I just don't think Rick would really care that much. No, he wouldn't, but, like, we've got a description But no, here. but do you not think... Do you not think, at this point, you're kind of led to believe that Tyrese and Rick are much closer than Bob and Rick? When they're just not. But in reality, if you look at the timeline... Bob appeared... Bob was there at the start of Season 4. Tyrese was there at the end of Season 3, but again... All right, at least six month time skip in between, but Bob also appeared during the time skip. So how much can you really? Yeah, I I, I don't know. I'm I'm just not feeling it. Rick seemed to take this death really bad, but it says Daryl was highly saddened at the funeral. What the fuck's that? He was highly saddened again. Where's the interaction with Daryl and Tyrese? I don't recall it. Now, obviously, right, Sasha, it says here, appears shell-shocked by the death of her brother. She's well, obviously, like, she's going to be upset like it's her fucking brother, but outside of Sasha, who is the closest to Bob? I mean, who is the closest to Tyrese? I mean, you've got, you got to wonder, would it be Bob due to the fact they're both black? But I don't. I just don't think Tyrese is really that close to anybody. He's not. He's just a member of the group. He's got no... It'd be like Eugene died. But even Sasha, was she not part of that committee in the prison at the beginning of season four? Yeah. Tyrese just felt like a bit of an outsider. Yeah, Rick Burry's And then him. after the whole Karen thing, he kind of just, you know, he, he, he separated himself from the group even more. And then his only connection from the, the halfway point onwards was Carol, who'd been excommunicated for the group, and the two sisters that are now dead. So basically... But he imagined them. Everyone that Tyrese has, like, interacted with doesn't really matter. It, I, it, I don't know. He just For me, Tyrese just didn't really feel like an important part of the group. And no, he, didn't. I, I, he didn't feel like him and Rick were that close. No, um, Rick buries him. He puts his wee beanie on top of his grave. That's it. We fade the black. It's a filler episode. It's pretty much... Right, we've got nothing story-wise, so we're just going to kill one of the characters. Who can we kill off? Hmm, we're looking very black-heavy, so let's kill Tyrese. I mean, I, I, I don't think that's the reason. But I know there was, like, that meme... Not, like, the memes and shit going on where people would laugh, and as soon as, another, as soon as a black guy got introduced to the show, you knew another black guy's time was up. And, like, you've got to wonder here, is that the only reason they've killed off Tyrese here? Or did the actor want out? Because this, this just seems like a very cheap death. They've just killed Beth. Look, I'm not saying that you can't kill characters back to back, but it is a bit weird and a bit... At least storyline-wise, as precious as storyline, Beth's storyline was, I mean, at least you can argue why they've done it. I don't see why they killed Tyrese off here. I think it was because they didn't have anything else. Like, what, what else was this episode going to be? Yeah, well, they had nothing else for Tyrese, or they had nothing else in general for the nothing show. Nothing else in general? I think this is a simple case of... Right, we've, uh, we've got nothing really storyline-wise. So, yeah, so we're going to kill someone off for shock value. So they had something to do with the, la the next seven episodes, but not this one? I, I, I don't know. Maybe they just didn't... Maybe they... <sighs> what difference does it make if I Tyrese think, lives to... I've got a feeling he wanted it out. I, I, think the, I think the actor must have wanted it out of the role because the death just seems so abrupt out of nowhere. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, and it's like... Seeing like episode, what, 10, the next one? I don't even... Will he even get a mention? Probably not. I, I, I don't know. Like, Beth dies, right? And Tyrese dies. And it's like, do their deaths even matter? And I, like, yeah. I don't recall one scene in the future where Maggie even references Beth. And that's another thing. It's like, Be all right, Beth's death, right? Mid-season finale. So you can you could maybe assume, right, it's, there's a wait. So the death... The, the like the impact of the death is obviously not going to be as strong because you're waiting and t for like another you know three three months or whatever, but it's almost like right Beth dies, 
the people closest to Beth, we didn't really see in this episode. Although Daryl, I guess, was pretty close. But it didn't seem like anybody was really reeling or reacting to Beth's death. Maybe apart from Noah. And then with Tyrese died, it's almost like it's just overshadowed Beth's death. Yeah, not completely. I think I think this episode should have just started where it ended. And that would be with them finding Daryl, carrying Beth at the, the Yeah, uh, why, why, is it, why have we got to have a 17-day time yeah, It's like you, you look at uh, season two of The Walking Dead, and the, the mid-season premiere starts straight from where the mid-season finale left off. And that's what you wanted to see. You wanted to see the aftermath of the entire barn being eliminated. And I think that's what they should have done here. I don't think having a time skip helped anybody. It didn't. And at least of all, helped us. I'm going to give this episode... I'm going to give you a 3 out of 10. Honestly, I think it was fucking filler. I think it was garbage. I think they just killed them the worst way possible. Filler, garbage. I mean, I wouldn't even argue they killed the guy off too soon. I think there's a million different ways you could have killed Tyrese off. But you know what? He was unique in the group because he was a bit of a shite bag. Which may sound weird, but in this world, you don't really live if you're a shite bag. Unless your name's Eugene or Father Gabriel. I'll give it a 4. I, I, like, seeing, I like seeing Philip back. The governor. I know, but they're so... No, it's like the shittest way they could have brought him back in a Tyrese flashback hallucination. What? Come on. So many more people that could have... were worthy of this. Yeah, no, um, I'll get a four. It's, it wasn't great. No, but even like someone like Tara, who spent like, what, two episodes with him, three episodes? She's much, much more of a fucking connection with him than Tyrese. Aye, the governor, yeah. Tyrese um, had a golf ball once. And I think, I think in the comics, the governor kills Tyrese instead of Herschel. There you go, man. But yeah, it almost feels like they gave him a, it almost feels like they gave him a comic death here, but it's like the connection that he has to these characters in the comics isn't the same as the show. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll get a 4 out of 10, 3.5 out of 10. Uh, the weakest episode of season 5 so far, in my opinion. And I'd be shocked. I'd also be disappointed if there's a worse episode than this. Yeah, this was quite bad, guys. But you know what? Going to Alexander, there is a bunch of slow ones. I mean, the next one, we're we'll going to be meeting that Aaron, man. A wee flair and his wee, uh, his wee pal. His wee broke back pal. But anyway, till then, peace.